Yo, what is up people? Kamusta kayo mga Erp? Nakita nyo na naman ang pagbumukha ko. Today, we got a brand new helmet. This helmet right here is from ILM Motors and this is the ILM Z501 Mantle Blue. So ILM Motors are nice enough to send me this helmet for free. That way I can unbox it and show you guys what they got. So let's unbox it and let's check it out. So this is one of their coolest helmet because, you know, because of the nice graphics and the features. So right now, hopefully I, will, I don't... Uh, <laughs> Got the helmet itself, but let's unbox this and uh, let's see what's inside. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the box. <laughs> Here we go. Side, side, bottom, top. All right, what do we have here? Okay, so we got a visor here. Nice visor, let's put this thing aside. And what is this? We got some I think you put this in the back of the helmet. I think they call it a spoiler. I don't know. Comment down below if this is a spoiler, but I'm pretty sure they put this. I'm supposed to put this at the back of the helmet. Look at that. Nice and glossy. All right, let's put this thing aside. Oh, there's another one. There's two spoilers. Oh, there's a blue one and a, and a smoke black one. Here we go. All right, I'm probably not gonna use that, but hey, maybe I'll install it, but in the box that's it all right we got this nice helmet. oh this is this is light this is really light i actually already have a helmet i purchased the Rurock atlas 3.0 but i ended up returning it because that helmet was just too tight it was too loud it's very uncomfortable and it feels cheap i mean that helmet is like 500 bucks but i'm actually um, gonna make a video about that comment down below if you guys want me to you know upload that video but Oh my god, check this out. That bottom. This is the reveal. Oh my. Look at this. It looks way better in person. Look at that. Okay, so this is the visor. Nice. This is probably, this looks better than my Rurok Atlas 3. Here we go. We got a nice blue visor over here. And I'm pretty sure to remove this visor, this, I just have to like click this. Probably need to read the manual, but yeah, I'm gonna have to read the manual real quick. But this is just an unboxing video and you know, first impression. I'm gonna do an actual uh, write video about this because I'm planning to make this my, as my vlogging helmet and my daily, you know, commuting helmet. So here we go, visor, easy to pull up and down. And we actually have a drop down visor over here. Oh yeah, this thing looks sick. Here we go. I like this, that means I don't need to wear a sunglasses if it's too bright outside all right drop down visor really cool i don't know here it is oh yeah so this is like the switch for the drop down visor vent switch over here that way you know we get a little bit of airflow and we got a couple of uh vents over here the spoiler is supposed to go right here at the back all right just easy snap on just like that and it's on. All right, the spoiler is on. Man, this thing looks awesome. And it's really light. Okay, so the strap right here. Hold on, let's just zoom it in a little bit. So we got this strap right here. And you pull this tab up. Here we go. Kind of like a quick release mechanism. Look at that. Very easy. Take off the helmet. Do this. And put the helmet on. Secure. I like it. So this is a size small because my head measure is 55 centimeters. So the small size is 55 to 56 centimeters. So this is gonna be perfect for me. And as you guys can see, this is DOT approved. If you're gonna be riding around your motorcycle in United States, make sure it is at least DOT approved. So this is street legal. Let's check out the interior right here. As you guys can see, this looks very premium. I just don't know how to undo this real quick. All right, it's easy to remove. All right, we're gonna undo this real quick. Hold on. All right. So this is the cheek pad. I'm not gonna remove all the all the paddings in there, but check it out. So this is the cheek pad. Definitely way better than my Rurock Atlas 3. Now finally, I got a helmet that is inexpensive but still looks cool and got some premium features and I forgot to show you guys this is actually compatible with 
your Bluetooth headset. So there's a spot right there for a speaker. And um, again, the interior is just, this liner just, you know what, let's, let's undo this. I'm not gonna remove this because I don't know how to remove this yet, but so far it's very soft in there. And again, it is very light. Let me put everything back together and let me do a fit test real quick because that was my problem with my previous helmet. It was just so tight that it was it was very uncomfortable. Okay, so the cheek pad is a little challenging, you know, to put together. But hey, here we go. After like three minutes of messing with this, um, I, I got everything back together. I forgot to tell you guys that we actually have this um, emergency, you know, pull right here. So you know, just in case, in case of an accident that uh, the helmet needs to be pulled out of your head, this can be pulled out easily. All right, enough talk. Let me test it out because. This was my problem before, like I bought a helmet, a small helmet, but for some reason it won't fit me, you know, it's just, I mean, it will fit me, but I'm, I'm literally like ripping my face off and, you know, every time I'm trying to remove it, it's like literally ripping my ears off. So, this one is size small, it's supposed to be the perfect size for me, and boom. Fits very comfortable. Oh yeah. Mmm, nice. Where's the drop down visor? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this thing looks cool. Oh, dude, this is so easy to wear. Feels very comfortable. I don't know, this is my, my third helmet, but so far, this is my most favorite. I'm not being biased, just because ILM sent me this for free, that doesn't mean, you know, I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, this is a real cool helmet. Helmet, and I believe that this helmet is pin lock compatible too, so that is pretty cool. And the front vent right here, check it out. At the front vent, actually, the the airflow goes right here, so you will never fog. So if you start fogging, you just turn on the vent. You got airflow coming from here, going out of here, and uh, over here we actually got some some dials on the uh, air vent at the back right here. So if you want more airflow, open it wide open, you know. And if you just want a little bit, there's actually like one, two, uh, there's two steps for it. So yeah, I really like it. And for you guys who wear glasses, you know, maybe soon I'll, I'll start wearing glasses because my vision is getting worse and worse. This is actually, you know, glasses compatible. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, this is still gonna be comfortable. Even if you're wearing glasses, I don't know yet. I have not tried this yet, riding with my motorcycle, but uh, soon, I'm gonna test it out that way, you know, I just don't want to say that oh, yeah, this glass compatible until I actually test it out But right there it is, you know, compatible with glasses, but yeah, I really like this thing man It's just look at that it Looks very cool It's very light and actually, you know what? I forgot to <laughs> Show you guys This other visor Here we go. We got a clear visor over here. So if you want to if you want to use a clear visor, you can, but uh, I think I'm just gonna keep this uh, nice metallic blue visor over here. All right, let me put it on again, see how easy it is. I'm just excited because it's so easy to, to install, but yet it still feels snug. It's like it's not moving around, and this uh, strap uh, mechanism right here is so easy to use. There you go. Now it's secured to undo it. Gotta press this button right here, right there. Oh, hold on, where'd it go? Never mind, I have to pull it. And what's going on? Oh, there it is. I just need to get used to it. Put it on, undo it. That is very convenient. That look cool? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. And I'm pretty sure that this, this might match my bike. My bike is like dark blue with a little bit of glitters on it, but normally it looks black, but my bike is blue with some chrome and everything, so. Yeah, hopefully this match my bike and uh, again, this just feels very comfy, you know? Cheek pad is actually, you know, pressing on my cheeks, which is good, but it's not like killing me, you know? This is how a helmet is supposed to feel because, you know, it needs to be snug but not loose and I really appreciate this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a chin curtain over here, right there. This is going to be good for, you know, airflow. So if I'm vlogging, I'm going to be putting a microphone over here. Less wind, less wind noise that is going to be in the helmet. That means less wind noise for the audio. Right now, this helmet is actually um, listed for $149.99. So it's way cheaper than other 
cool helmets out there. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I will link it down in the description. And if you click my affiliate link, you'll get a little bit of discount for this helmet. And again, this is the ILM, forgot the name, <laughs> ILM Z501. Really cool looking helmet. And uh, I'm gonna be uh, motor vlogging with this helmet soon. So I'm gonna give you guys an update about this helmet. This is the Manta blue color. And uh, they actually got plenty of color options for this. For some reason, you know, I like blue, so I got this. But there are more uh, badass looking helmet on ILM website. There, there are more uh, color option for the Z501. Very light, super cool. It's very comfortable, but I haven't tested out riding yet. So yeah, stay tuned for the test ride video. And I guess that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love, peace, and happiness. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.